For about 10 years of my life, I played drums almost every single day. If you were to hand me a drum now, I'd probably play it until you took it away because I, I love drumming, I love rhythm, and it's just part of who I am. Uh, but I haven't really played daily for a very, very long time. And still, when I see things in the news about drumming or, or when I read about drumming, um, it brings back fond memories and it's something that I'm still very passionate about. And so when I saw that there was a recent study that showed that drummers' brains are actually significantly different than the rest of the world, I just kind of smiled because if you're a drummer, you already knew that. Uh, drummers get a bad rap. I mean, guitarists are uh, noted as, as uh, encouraging their daughters not to date drummers, and Spinal Tap went so far as to have the drummer repeatedly die in ridiculous fashions throughout the movie as kind of a, uh, a send-up to the music industry. But, uh, and I'll link again, like I do many times, to uh, the article that this is associated with in the comments. Uh, studies are showing that, that drummers are actually uh, mentally capable of doing things that, that other people just aren't. And as a drummer, like I said, I already knew that. But the, the one key thing that I think uh, most people do recognize about drummers is that they're able to cause change and they, they're able to kind of bring people together because the rhythm, the underlying rhythm in a musical group is what holds things together and a great drummer can make or break a band and drummers who are doing their job well are keeping everything in time. When, when things start to slip they, they create a way to bring the music back together and keep it flowing and that in itself, much like if you've ever had children and you've, you've held a baby uh, on your chest as they're sleeping and you kind of breathe together and, and your breathing sort of becomes one. Drumming is much like that if you're doing it right. 